Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so a few of my subscribers have been asking me to show how to relock the bootloader on the Moto G6. So this video is for you guys who want to relock the bootloader. So this is my G6 here. So let me just turn it on. Okay, your device has been unlocked and can't be trusted. So my bootloader is unlocked. So I'm going to show you how to relock it. Whilst that's booting up, um, I'm just going to let you all know that you need these two files. So go ahead and download these two files. This is the first thing you need to do. Download the stock firmware for your device. So this is the Ali retail stock firmware for my G6. And you'll also need this zip file here as well, flash OEM lock. So just go ahead and download these two files from the links in the description down below. I'll also leave the stock firmwares for the Moto G6 Play and the G6 Plus. This should also work with um, those other devices as well. So yeah. Okay, so it's booted up. Okay, you'll also need to download minimal ADB and fastboot. So I'll leave a link to the minimal ADB and fastboot in the description down below as well. Okay, so in order for this to work, you will need a rooted Moto G6. Your device has to be rooted for this to work. So um, as you can see here, I am rooted. Let's just verify root. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So you will need root. Okay, so just go into your settings and scroll down to system, about phone. Scroll down again, go to build number and just keep tapping it till it says you are now a developer. Then press back and go into the developer options which should now be unlocked okay so if you're rooted if you're not rooted sorry this here where it says OEM unlocking will be greyed out you can't turn it on that's why you need root so make sure you're rooted and then you'll be able to turn that on so just enable it and then you can put the phone down so next just set up the minimal ADB and fast boot. So just go ahead and install that. Next. I accept the agreement. Next. And by default, it's going to install to the C programs x86. So hit next again, next again, next install and then go ahead and hit finish and let's just check that it's on the C drive properly installed so C drive program files x86 and there it is minimal ADB and fastboot so that's properly installed okay next you need to extract the stock firmware so extract all extract and it's going to create a folder and it's going to extract the files into that folder so this is the folder Ali retail so we'll just wait for that to finish extracting I'm not going to skip through the video, I'm going to show you guys everything from the beginning to the end just to, sh just to show you that this definitely does work.
Once it's extracting, I'll just have a sip of my tea. Things I do for you guys. Look, it's 2.58 in the morning. And I'm here making a video for you subscribers. Okay, so once it's finished extracting the folder where it extracted to should open up and what you need to do now is just highlight everything in the folder and then right click on it and copy Now go to the C drive where minimal ADB is installed. Program files x86 remember. Minimal ADB and fastboot. And just press right click on your mouse and then just paste everything into there. Select this little box here, do this for all current items and then select continue. Okay, so everything's copied over into there. Okay, so now just go to the flash OEM lock zip file and just extract all. And then Copy that, to, drag and drop it to your desktop, and then just drag and drop it into the minimal ADB and fastboot. Hit continue. Okay. Next, just power off the device. And put it into fast boot mode by pressing in between the volume up and down button and the power button so you're going to press in between volume up and down and power button all at the same time both at the same time keep it keep both buttons held down until it takes you into fast boot and then use the volume down button on the side and 
can just go to where it says start. Then connect to USB cable from the PC to the phone. And it should say USB connected. Now go back to minimal ADB and fastboot and select flash OEM lock. Okay. Okay, right click on it, select run as administrator. Okay, Windows protected your PC with smart screen. Run anywhere. Yes. Okay, so now it's just going to flash the stop firmware and relock the bootloader. If you have the uh, G6 Plus or the G6 Play, I'll have a look and see if I can find this flash OEM file for you. If not, I'll leave a command what you can copy and paste into this black window and that should um, relock the bootloader, flash the stop firmware and relock the bootloader. I haven't tested it, I haven't tried it so I'm not 100% sure it's going to work for the G6 Plus or the G6 Play but um, you can give it a try or you could even try this maybe it might work like i said i'm not 100 percent sure it definitely works for the g6 but i'm not sure about the g6 plus or g6 play i'm guessing it should work though so I'll just give it a try Okay, so as you can see, it's finished and the device is rebooted. can go ahead and unplug it Hello 
photo. Okay, so let me just power it off. And power it back on. And as you can see, the warning is no longer there the bootloader is now relocked hello moto okay so <clears throat> I'm not going to go through the whole setup process because you guys just want to see the bootloader being relocked. So yeah, um, this is how you relock it on the Moto G6. We should also work with the G6 Plus and also the G6 Play. If this video helped you out, you already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Um, also, feel free to share the video with friends. Um, leave any comments in the comment section down below if you get stuck with anything. So by the Android Doctor, I'm out. Doses.